Hi guys, today we're going to create a character. Let's grab a pen tool and draw two lines like this, and then round the corner where they connect. Let's duplicate and reflect this element and place a copy of it like so. Next step is drawing the head. For this we're gonna start with a simple rectangle with two rounded bottom corners. In the same way we will create hair, but instead of a rectangle we start with an irregular shape. We round corners where we need and choose a different color. Let's copy our face, place an ellipse on top of it like this and select minus front in shape modes. Pick a color you like and place this element back on top of the face. We have a beard ready. Cool. If you need to move an anchor point around, you can do this with the direct selection tool. That's the white arrow on the toolbar. As you can see, I create most of the elements by drawing abstract shapes and then rounding the corners where I need to. The ears are two perfect circles placed behind the face. As this face has a white feel, it will cover parts of the ears that we don't want to show. In After Effects, let's create shapes from vector layers and animate the eye blink. To do this, we need to uncheck the constant proportions of the scale parameter and animate only the height. Then I displace the anchor point of the rotation parameter of the mouth, like so. Now we have this cute little smile. The last step is the hair. I want my character to appear in the scene moving vertically from bottom to top, so it will be natural if his hair bounces around a bit. I type path in the search bar and I see many path options revealed. With the selection tool I select only one anchor point I'll be working with, which is the top right one. All we have to do is to move it up and down every 5 frames. Great, I guess we're done here, let's see what we got.